what happens when I go to Goodwill. I buy the whole store. Now that I think about it, it happens like every single time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Goodwill thrift haul. I bought like a massive amount, bigger than any of my other hauls. Any of my other hauls. I've only had two other hauls from Goodwill. But whatever the point is, I went and splurged at Goodwill because that is like my second home if you don't know already. Why are you always busting in here every time I'm filming? I'm not busting in. I simply came in. Busting in, I'd have been like... <laughs> Anyways, I like to go to Goodwill and spend like $40 on 20 different things rather than going on Fashion Nova and buying one two-piece set for $40. I bought like some of everything. I got some pink, some Nike, some jean shorts, got some crop tops, some dresses, some everything. I wasn't familiar with this location because I am on vacation in Arizona visiting my mom, of course. And I've never been to this Goodwill before, so it was kind of like really confusing when I got in there. Surprisingly, I found like pretty much everything that I need. So if you want to see everything that I got, be sure to stick around. Make sure you hit that like button and also that subscribe button so you can see more of me and more of my awesome clothes. And yeah. Okay, so I separated these into like categories like, you know, denim, dresses, skirts. Just so it won't be all over the place when I'm showing you guys these clothes. So I'm going to start with the denim because I didn't really get a lot of denim. I don't know. This should be quick. So the first thing I got was this white pair of shorts. They're from Hollister and they're really distressed. I don't really have any white shorts so I was like I really need these. The second pair of denim that I got is this distressed ripped jean skirt which I really do love. This is Hollister as well. It fits me at a decent length. And it's not too short or not too tight because I do want it to fit my body and make it look, you know, attractive and not just weird because I don't have that much of a shape. So the next thing that I'm going to do is like my just everyday tops that I will wear. I actually got these tops out of the sleepwear section. I think that that's a really good section to get the tops out of because most of those tops are like, you know, the lacy tops that are now like really trendy. So the first one that I got is this purple and brown little night shirt and it's really cute it's kind of see-through but not too much has to wear like you would see anything you could just wear like nip slips if you're that worried about it but with me i'm not really too worried about it it was actually only like 250 which you really can't be i really do like the lace pattern at the top the next piece i got is this little cropped white lacy shirt it has like fabric underneath so it's not see-through at all but it gives you the illusion that it is from far away you can just make it look really cute with like some ripped jeans or like some high-waisted mom jeans. And it's just very simple. Which I'm trying to get out of the simple style lately, but it's just so addictive because you can just wear it with like almost any color that you want to. The next thing I got, I will not be trying on, but it's like this little, I forget what these things are called, but it's kind of like a bra. It's one of those cuter, more uh, type of tops but yeah I won't be trying that on for you because there may be pervs on my channel. The next thing I got is this little plaid sleeping gown thing. It looks like a shirt but it actually stretches into like a gown. I'm gonna probably tuck it into some pants or a skirt but it's really cute to me. I really do like it. I love the lace as you can tell it's kind of like a thing now in my haul. Like I'm really getting into the lace. I have no idea why. I think it's because of Pinterest but it's just a simple shirt that you just can't go wrong with. So the last little top that I have is this Route 21 strapless. What do you call those shirts? Like peplum? Like when it cinches in and then comes out. I don't know, but I think that's what this is. And it's really cute. It's like an off-white kind of cream color, but I really do like it. The only thing that I don't like is that it has that wiring in here. So this part, when you're trying to put it on, it is really like, it kind of sticks you when you're putting it on because there is like no zip or anything. There's just like this ribbed material in the back so it stretches but, but if you're more busty like me you probably will get stuck by these little things but it doesn't bother me too much because it's so cute when you put it on. I did get a few dresses just because I always get dresses I'm like I dress up like almost every day so it just it's become a thing this is just a little black sleeveless dress it has these little ruffles at the top and it also has these little buttons but it's just 
um, for show because they don't really open when you're putting it on. So it doesn't really have a zip or anything, but it looks so cute when it's on. And it also has pockets, so you can do that little thing where you walk and sway your dress while you're walking, like in the TV shows. I also got this dress, which I don't know how I feel about it because it's not that cute, honestly. You know, those dresses that you just want to dress down and be really lazy in. Like, I don't think I will wear this out, but I might wear this, like, in the house. And it kind of ties up in the middle so you can cinch your waist in, but it's just, I don't know, but... It's not that cute to me, so I'll probably just wear it in the house. I need, like, more lounge clothes. The next thing I got is this little Forever 21 little lace-up um, dress thingy. It's really cute. It's long sleeves, but I'll only be here for another week, so I'll probably wear it when I get back to Memphis. It has this little lace stuff on it, again, because it's just so attractive to me. Like, oh my gosh. If I were a guy, I would go for a girl with lace. Duh. The next thing I got is this Rue 21 patterned little dress. It has these really long strings, so what I like to do is because it is too big for me, I wrap it around to where it hugs my waist so it actually fits me better, and then I tie it in the back. So yeah, and these little button things in the and these little button things at the top that are supposed to cover your boobs are also just for show. So that's exactly why these little things come in handy. So the next thing I got is this little strapless dress. And it's really like vintage like prints and stuff. But it's like this lavender color. And I think it's just so cute because it's like a muted purple lavender color. And I just like it when the colors are more subtle and not so poof like neon colors and stuff. So next I have this little apricot little romper and it's really cute. It has a lot of detail in it and it's just, I really like the colors in it and how it looks on my skin tone. And I really love how like it's really short but it's loose so it's not like that big of a deal. The next thing I got is really up my alley because it's just a simple black little strappy dress and I really like it because it's so simple like yeah it's so easy to dress up with black because you can just add like any pop of color that you want you can also dress it down like with some bands or something and whatever but <laughs> i never do that <laughs> so this little colorful dress is what i got next and it's just like the other dress that's too big for me but it has these really long straps so i cross it in the front and cross it in the back just like the other one to make it fit me more i just really like the colors in this like I could wear so many different makeup combinations with this and there's just so many colors in it which I'm trying to embrace on my skin tone more so this was a win for me. The next thing I got is this peachy strapless dress and it just has like these really vintage buttons on it which I don't think they come off they're actually sewed on and then there's a whole bunch of little flowers in it so I really do love this dress. The last dress I got is this little plaid dress and it's really really old school. It has like mustard and blue and tan and all different colors with like lavender and stuff in it. You can actually unbutton these buttons to show as much cleavage as you like. Thank you. I really do like this and you can layer this over like a long sleeve shirt in the winter time or you can wear it in the summertime with just how it is. So I really do like it because layering is coming back into style even though we hated it when we were in second grade and our mothers used to make us do that. So like I said I found a lot of Nike and a lot of Adidas and stuff like that and also Victoria's Secret so I got this like kind of active wear stuff which I never wear but I feel like it's something I need to get into because there is a gym like right by my house right now and I just don't have anything I have like two sports bras and that's just not working for me so when I saw these at the thrift store for only like four dollars I was like wow I need those because in real stores they're like sixty forty dollars and I can't afford that because I'm just broke <laughs> So I got these little Nike dry fit pants and they're just really nice to work out in or run in. I do love the little turquoise color even though I don't really have anything that'll match that. And I just love how this fits me. Like it is so snug and it keeps me warm. I also got the Nike dry fit shorts and these are like the little workout spandex type shorts. And I really do love the color. Like it is so cute to me and I just, I'm glad that I found it. It was only like $2. I found the pink legging. And you guys know these are expensive. The whole set and I just couldn't do that. So when I saw these, I was like, yes. And also it's kind of like burgundy. So that's my favorite color if you didn't know. So I was just like, yes. I need this in my life and they fit me so well so I just really love them I'm definitely going to be buying more of these more often if I see them in the thrift store because Lord knows I ain't going to Victoria's Secret to buy thank you goodwill I got this little pink sports bra because I definitely need another one I washed it don't worry I won't catch anything and it's just really cute so it can definitely go with those Nike shorts 
because I don't know it matches <laughs> I also found this Nike hoodie and I really do like this it is very expensive in like stores just I had to get it it's pink I'm not a big fan of pink but it's probably gonna be cute with some pink makeup I also found this blue Adidas hoodie and I really do like this. The blue color once again, I love blue and it also has like a darker navy blue on the side. I think it is authentic because it has the three sides. So looking at the tag, it has all the little logos wherever they're supposed to go. And yeah, I do really like this. So I also found this little pink little zip up sweater and it has like this really pretty writing on the back that says pink and I just like the lavender color and it's really cute. Since we're kind of on the lounging slash working out attire, I did need to get a lot of sweatpants. I just don't have any. Like when I'm sitting in the house, I probably either have on like really short shorts or I'm sitting in something like this, which is just not, I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do. So I did get like some loungewear. Okay, so the first thing I got in loungewear is these little Abercrombie shorts that used to go with the little sets back in the day. Got the burgundy ones because <laughs> favorite color is burgundy, duh. It's gonna be so cute and I just love the way it fits me. My favorite pair of sweatpants that I got is this turquoise color one because it is loose but it's also tight enough to where you know it still kind of looks like it fits me. I love that it fits my calf as well because sometimes they just most of them are just straight down and just that's what they are but these are kind of like jeggings and I just really like the color. I got these big sweatpants. These um they say queen of love which is pretty accurate because I just love everyone even my haters. Um, but even though I'm not a big fan of pink I really do love the gold writing on it and I love the way that these fit because they're so loose but I can cinch it in on my waist because it has these little ties. Lastly I got these gray ones. Um, these are alright. This is a large and it's really big but same thing with the pink. I kind of just cinch it in on the waist and let it hang. <laughs> but I really do like them for lounging around the house and that's pretty much it. I won't go outside with these because um, probably look like a bone. So next up I got some t-shirts. They are pretty basic but I did crop most of them. If they're not cropped then I probably liked the t-shirt. So so this first t-shirt is Russell t-shirt. It's like a <laughs> university t-shirt. It says property of Grand Canyon University 1949. GCU is pretty popular. I don't think I'll care too much about it when I go back to Memphis. I just like university shirts and I like cropping them. Other than that, there's no reason I got this. I just got a university shirt and it's cute. And I kind of went overload on the Grand Canyon shirts to be honest. It says Pride. It's, it's still a Grand Canyon t-shirt, but I guess Pride is like one of their symbols or something. Or just something that they have I don't I'm not really sure but I cropped this one straight across I really do like it and yeah I can just wear it with some shorts or something I got this tan t-shirt it's from forever 21 and it came already cropped so I was kind of like okay I might crop it shorter but I probably won't I haven't tried this one on it's pretty cute it's really basic and I did need like another little nude shirt like this so yeah this one's pretty much just for layering and basic purposes. This is another Grand Canyon University t-shirt and I just made a little V in this one and I cropped it at, under the class of 2020. So apparently a lot of Grand Canyon people turn their shirts into Goodwill because that one is from a while ago and this one's from 2020. This t-shirt says cheerleader WGHS Wolfpack which is kind of funny because before I went to online school I went to the school called Cordova. Our symbol was Wolfpack but this one is some school in Arizona or somewhere that's a Wolfpack so I figured I might as well have that one too. I know I said I don't really like highlighter colors but sometimes when I do my makeup I do like those really bright neon colors so I needed something to go with that. This one says Arizona Spirit and it has some cheerleaders on it and on the back it says Alexa. Thank you Alexa for this pink neon shirt. And I'm sorry that I cropped it off so short and a lot of your achievements that were on the bottom aren't on there anymore but <clears throat> the last t-shirt that I got is this colorful one that said real friends. Wow what a 
and then it cuts off because I cut it. But I got this for the same purpose, just for makeup and stuff like that. So when I use colors like this, I wear this shirt. The last section. Like this huge, fluffy, pink, nude sweater. It is just so freaking cute. And I'm, it's really oversized. I really like it. I love the baggy arms. And I just love the color of it on my skin tone. It's extremely heavy. It's really good quality. And it doesn't like shed all over the place. I also got this burgundy sweater, which I have one that's literally just like this, but I got it from Walmart, and I think it has another color in it, but um, this one is just like a burgundy, and it has the little lace up at the top and the strings, and then has detail on the arms, and it's just really cute. I really do love it, and I'll probably wear it with like some leggings or something, but it's going to be so, 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 so freaking cute. The last sweater I got, I cropped, and I know you're not supposed to crop sweaters, but I kind of like the little look of it all rough and weird and uneven but yeah i'm probably gonna wear it backwards because i cropped it a little bit too short to be honest with you last thing all together that i got were these christmas leggings it says bright and merry and i really love them they make me look really thick makes my butt look good and all so i had to get them like everyone on youtube when they get their what i got for christmas they always have on um, christmas pajamas and i never have any so i had to get some like come on now so that is all i got from the thrift store you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe i really did get a lot of stuff this time and i know it's probably like been a long video but you might have to scavenger hunt all through the store but i mean there's like literally like hidden treasures in there i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys would like me to start like a depop or something it'll be in this corner up here let me know because i really do want to start one but i don't think i don't know if you guys like my style enough to like buy things off of there so let me know vote up here and i'll probably start one i don't know if i should do depop or poshmark so let me know if you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in the next video